Okay, what's going on here is uh, I've got two slices of a tree, a uh, scrub oak tree, that I've, they're not exactly book matched, but they're pretty close. They, they're uh, put together so that I can get enough width. And uh, you can see there are a lot of inclusions, and this is a crotch here that's lost a lot of integrity in this as well. So what will happen is I'll put some bow ties or butterflies in here to hold that together. And uh, the rest of this, where there are splits and other inclusions, that will have to have some uh, dark epoxy poured in there to give it some integrity back. In this location, I'm going to put this uh, backgammon board slash chessboard. These are just stuck on there. And that will be recessed in there uh, so that it won't stick up quite so high. So that's what's going to be placed in roughly this location. So I have a good width there, and I'm not going to remove all of it. It'll just be uh, routed in somewhat, uh, so there'll still be a lot. Those acute angles are tough with the chisel. tapered hole that will fit on those two upright legs, okay? So this is just a tool. It's like a giant countersink, okay? Okay, just like so. I'm just working out the placement of the game board. You know, front to back, left to right. I'm just seeing how really it all fits together. It's all just loosely there. Um, and I think it'll be fairly stable. I won't have to do uh, any other after, you know, post-design reinforcement things. <laughs> So I'm just figuring out where the high points are, and this is a high point, and it indicates that by the space that's under here. I'll probably take about a quarter of an inch off of there, and should be good.